group. Uh, some people have stick their heads together in order to organize a solar purchasing group which is focused, for instance, on the PV module manufacturing as well as on the, some of the installation parts. The team is built up of, uh, at the moment on four people uh, from the US as well as from the Europe, uh, which were relayed to the industry as well as to the procurement itself. Some experienced people are, are inside which uh, have experience with such uh, purchasing groups. We have designed a clear business model out of all these uh, well, ideas which are coming together when you're thinking about a purchasing group and have uh, defined a nice package of uh, possibilities how we can work together uh, in order to set up such a purchasing group. A purchasing group in general is always a, a combination of, of vendors as well as buyers, which have the same interest. The vendor wants to buy and the, the, uh, the, the vendor wants to sell and the, the member wants to buy. And the idea behind that, where you can also find it in different industries, is uh, that you finally actually uh, have the intention of raise volumes in order to drop pricing in the procurement. Uh, now in there. Among uh, the main or the core focus of the of the group by procurement and distribution or, or selling, uh, <clears throat> different aspects are, are important as well. One side one side is the information flow between vendors as well as uh, manufacturers of, of products in order to get updates in terms of. Uh, product developments and uh, different uh, developments in the industry. However, we are looking on that <clears throat> to raise such a purchasing group. The importance is we have to have a balanced level of vendors as well as buyers. And when we have that, finally it, will, it could work and, and start to, to give real effects back to the to the members as well as the vendors. How does it work? <clears throat> Actually, on one side, we have people who need materials. These are sticking their brains together, bringing their uh, potentials on a sheet. The solar purchasing group team collects all this information, certainly in a confidential way. <clears throat> Out of these information, we are going to the vendors and are asking for quotations in order to get the, the volumes uh, defined. <clears throat> we are negotiating the terms and conditions for, the, for, all the vendors, uh, for all the buyers. And at the end, <clears throat> once the volumes are coordinated and agreed, we are going to place the, 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 the order to the vendors. Important to know is that there is no must buy in this group. If you have another choice of materials and you are happy with these materials, you can, you can say, okay, it doesn't, matter. it doesn't make sense for me to buy this product, but maybe there are some common sense and common products that could be shared, and uh, volumes can be uh, defined in this segment. In addition, also important to know is that we are not buying for you. We are agreeing and we are coordinating the quantities, and you are placing directly the orders at the buyer that on one side it makes it more sure for you and much easier for, for us as well. Yeah. There. Come. Voila. So, the, uh, the, the, the group itself, it has some particularities in the PV business uh, you all know in the, when you produce solar modules, you have to stick to a certain certification and where uh, especially uh, you have to certify your modules according to TUV, uh, TUV coordinations and, 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 and regulations. So you cannot just change products as you like to do. So uh, this is definitely a, a point to consider when, when we are collecting all this information about the procurement and the quantities that you like to have. 
And then uh, at the moment we have a very variety of combinations out of this certification. So if you say you want to have the, 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 the glass A with the, with the foil Z, maybe it doesn't work together for the other one. So that's a, quite a nice matrix of, uh, of possibilities which can arise out of this uh, procurement requirement. So what we do, at the, at the beginning we are asking you what kind, of, what kind of products you are using, but then we are circling uh, the most important parts for us together so that we can start with a nice small volume and get experience in the right way. So, the task for us is actually, on one side, definitely that's the core task. We need to coordinate the volumes in order to, to uh, organize uh, good negotiations with the suppliers. We want to optimize also the procurement chain or the supply chain in order to leverage the, uh, the knowledge and the experience to our members as well. And to create contacts that meet application, applicable procurement standards in order to also reduce the number of possible uh, issues in the supply chain. So. Where do we start? Like I said before, we want to start in the module business, <coughs> where we are dealing with glass, with foils, back sheets, some solar cells, ribbons, all these components used for the, uh, for the manufacturing. We are believing that we have, even in the future, smaller manufacturers of, of solar modules which have troubles to get the right prices on the market. So in order to group these quantities together, we can negotiate the correct pricing for these suppliers in the local markets. Certainly, we also are in the cell business, but rather for, for the production of the modules. And some ideas are here also to go into the installation business where also uh, products are here where we can uh, group together the quantities in order to realize uh, better pricing options. Future expansions down the down the value chain is, is, is definitely possible. That's a question of what kind of members we get and what kind of vendors we will have. There's maybe the question, did such organizations work in the past or do such organizations work in the past and in the, in the today's world? Actually, when you look around, you can almost go into every industry, there are purchasing groups. And it's starting very long time ago already. It's in the 1800s that some, some groups have started with, this, with these ideas. Today it's still vital and uh, more and more companies are grouping together in order to realize better supply chains and better, uh, better pricing options. So some of the purchasing group challenges uh, which are actually almost common on the, on the whole industry, on different, different industries, is that it's definitely a, a very big challenge to agree on standards and specifications for the products. So there's always a bit uh, tolerance, but it, it, it's also, also a tolerance on both sides to approach each other. Uh, the commitment on the members is, is, is definitely uh, difficult, and I understand that the solar business is not diff very easy to to make a commitment, especially with these short cycles in the industry. Pro public laws or policies, uh, that could be internal policies of where, you, where to buy and how to buy. And uh, uh, definitely you have brand preferences as well as uh, also a typical maverick buying people, which then uh, can dis dis disturb the whole system. In order to show you how another organization works, we have one of our found, uh, managing partners is uh, Doc Franzen from the US, and he is the managing director of, of uh, Colonial. Colonial is, a, is the purchasing group for the optical disc industry. We all know optical discs are going down and down, but it's still a question, it's still on production, and, and we still use uh, optical discs in the world. <clears throat> 2004, they started with, a, with, a, with, a, with four companies buying about 2,000 
metric tons of uh, polycarbonate. Very little bit after they had already 13 with 3,500 uh, metric tons, and today they have about 34 companies throughout the whole world, you can say almost. North America, Canada, Mexico, and Europe are grouping together in order to raise the quantity and to standardize the products in order to be more competitive for this. And today, Colonial is the, and that's quite important, Colonial is, is really the single largest, largest buying customer for these products of, of this industry. A sample how that worked is, is actually Colonial could re reduce the costs for the production for the optical discs by over 80% in the polycarbonate. It means these, these, these small production facilities which make uh, poly, poly, these optical discs could have reduced the uh, cost for the polycarbonate over 80%, and that's definitely important for the survival of a, an industry. Another example is in the ink, the UV ink, which is used on the, on the, on the surface of the, of the discs. Uh, there also was a reduction of 300%, and it looks like almost impossible to reduce a, a price of, of, of a product over 300%. Uh, but the question is the standardization in this part. From six UV white inks, they reduced down to, uh, no, they, we re they reduced down to six UV inks within the purchasing group. So if you had uh, before uh, many different and many uh, diverse packaging units and as well as as type of inks. Coordinating six inks only is making a, a big difference for the, for the supplier as well. So that was really the, uh, uh, the key to reduce this price to 300% down. So what, what is Colonial doing at the, at the other side of the procurement as example is also, uh, well, they host uh, an annual members meeting Wherever it is, it doesn't matter, but uh, it's a very important meeting where, where the vendors can meet the, the buyers and we, they can talk together about the requirements from each side and vendors have the po possibility to, to show new possibilities as well as to figure out what's the market and what's definitely their customers are needing are need or on the production. You see, for a, for a vendor, it could be a very nice issue as well because he doesn't have to travel around. He can meet the people at one side and discuss the issues directly on the, on the spot. Colonial also provides a monthly newsletter where achievements will be presented and, uh, and communicated. So by the, by the, by the age of the, of the Colonial's uh, purchasing group, they also started to go out and extend the, uh, the services. So definitely uh, some of these are, ex as example, uh, cases or services that the people are needing. They, have to start, they started to negotiate on this part as well in order to have common, common pricing on that, as well as on, on the equipment. As you see, the more you standardize, the more you can also uh, combine the, uh, the right equipments together. And as well on transportation, which is... For the optical disc, a, a quite a big issue as well, as mostly the optical discs aren't used at the place they were produced. So, our mo main working fields, they will be in the, in the, in the, in the combination and, and in the gathering of all this information and, and, and to, to to realize best-in-class suppliers or to, to get in touch with the best-in-class suppliers. I, I mean, price reduction should not uh, be done on the, on the quality side. Qu quality is always a high, high issue, especially in the module business where you have to give quite uh, long and important uh, warranties. On the sponsor side or member side, they, they definitely uh, vendor side, they definitely want to have some standardization, so we want to know what they need and how we can combine this with the, 
with the buyers. On the other side, which is, which is important as well, is rebates. We can definitely uh, organize the, the nice quantities and volumes, but if finally uh, we do not get the, the right uh, purchasing quantity, the, the vendors will be unhappy and they will, will say uh, this purchasing group does not play fair uh, first to agree on low pricing and at the end the quantities are not purchased. So uh, one side why we can have a, a rebate program is, is definitely, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, so we agree on a certain quantity in the, in the industry and with each member and at the end when you purchase this quantity or even more, you will, get have, you will have a, uh, an additional discount. Such a discount at the end will be pure profit because it will be paid at the end of the, of the, of the period and will give uh, a nice figure on the bottom line of the company's files. So, if you go into the solar industry, we have some challenges, like I said before. Uh, there are possibilities and I believe it will work but some issues must be done as, as well, and the, the question is really the, the standardization of the products. There must be more work done in order to, well, compare these products uh, better and to have also better power in between the, the vendors in order to negotiate prices in between the, the vendors. The aggregated by the buying power is definitely a, a, a perfect issue in order to negotiate the prices in terms of uh, uh, all the small suppliers of, of PV modules. Let's say you have, uh, you, you negotiate, uh, four people negotiate each other's uh, 100 megawatt with the supplier, or you go one time to the supplier and you negotiate the four to 500 megawatts uh, directly. It, it's definitely a different price and approach to the supplier. So, at the end, it's definitely your turn. We can organize, we can manage the, the whole business model, we can attune the business model according to the, uh, the requirements. We have gathered many information from the vendor side as well as from the uh, member side as well. What are the needs and the business models that have been designed on, this, on these topics. Uh, today we have uh, some people here, Thomas Caldara is here, as well as Brian Akers is here, as me, in order if you'd like to talk about it. And we have brochures outside, or if you like, you can also visit us on our website, which is not mentioned, but well, it's the, uh, at solarpurchasing.com or you can contact this, us in Switzerland as well as in, in Asia and as well as in the US. We have uh, offices in these places where you can contact us and uh, discuss the issues with us. Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions? But the focus is not on the, on the end product like, like the module. The focus is on the raw material side. So on the film, on the foil, on the cell, glass, frame, or known frame, <coughs> all the silicons you need for the joints, the ribbons, all these, these issues. So uh, to sell the module, that's each other's job. But to procure the product for, for to making them could be Share. Any other? Okay, thank you very much. Wish you a nice day. And if you like to talk, we are around and sometimes also at the IPVA booth. Thank you.